What is the Edmonton Journal in 2019, almost 200 years later on about? Well, I'll read some more from this goofy story. Quote, they are called the Chicago Principles, hailed by advanced education minister Dimitrios Nikolaidis and others as the gold standard. They were developed by the University of Chicago in 2014 to demonstrate a commitment to free speech on U.S. college campuses. But some worry. Whenever you see a journalist saying that, that means I worry, but I want to pretend someone else does. But some worry. They don't allow universities to distinguish between groups or individuals who want to speak on campus, be it a flat earth society, racist, or a celebrity. The UCP did not grant Post Media an interview with Nicolaidis. However, in an emailed statement, he said applying the principles would ensure Alberta post-secondary institutions are competitive with those in the United States. Now, in fairness, it is called the Chicago Principles, but that's only because it happened to be the University of Chicago that wrote them down clearly in such a way that everyone wants to copy them. They apply identically throughout universities all around the world, really. I mean, what's so American only about this? Let me quote from the Chicago Principles. In a word, the university's fundamental commitment is to the principle that debate or deliberation may not be suppressed because the ideas put forth are thought by some or even by most members of the university community, to be offensive, unwise, immoral, or wrong-headed. There's nothing about America there. It says universities. I mean, America lives up to freedom better than most countries because of its love for free speech, but how's that different from what we believe at the University of Toronto or the University of Calgary or UBC or any place up here? I'll read more. This talks about how to handle deeply offensive ideas. This is from the Chicago Principles. It is not the proper role of the university to attempt to shield individuals from ideas and opinions they find unwelcome, disagreeable, or even deeply offensive. Although the university greatly values civility, and although members of the university community share in the responsibility for maintaining a climate of mutual respect, Concerns about civility and mutual respect can never be used as a justification for closing off discussion of ideas, however offensive or disagreeable those ideas may be to some members of our community. Can you disagree with that? Maybe you can, but if so, you don't belong in a university. Well, the Edmonton Journal disagrees with that, or at least one reporter calls it deeply controversial, or at least says some say it's controversial, but let me read just one more line. Just one more line from the Chicago Principles. The whole thing is only a few pages long. Google it. It's great. It's worth reading. Ready? Last quote. Although members of the university community are free to criticize and contest the views expressed on campus, and to criticize and contest speakers who are invited to express their views on campus, they may not obstruct or otherwise interfere with the freedom of others to express views they reject or even loathe. To this end, the university has a solemn responsibility not only to promote a lively and fearless freedom of debate and deliberation, but also to protect that freedom when others attempt to restrict it. That's great, isn't it? There's nothing American about that. That's a human idea. That's a freedom idea. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest. And then I end by reading my hate mail, but you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at the rebel.media slash shows.